controller. I love video games, Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo. And, and Sega, boy. It really don't matter to me, man. Who ready to play? Hold up, the game here got some. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Guy Shepard, and I'm back. Oh yeah, with another video. I'm also a hip hop recording artist and all of that good stuff. And I hope you know where to go find my music. Anyway, let's get into this video, man. Yeah. Woo! Man, I'm just excited like always. Man, I um I've been looking into some new videos or just been watching other videos and things of that nature. Um and one of the things I've noticed you know, that's been going on for a long time is people going dumpster diving and things of that nature. So they would, they'd dive in these dumpsters, man, and they would be finding goodies and electronics and things of that nature to add to their collection, especially video gamers. You know, they would be jumping in mainly looking for video games. So I happened to be in Indiana, you know, a couple weeks back or so, a while back. And, you know, I was just watching all these people do this. I was watching them just dive in the dumpster and doing that, they were diving in Walmart's dumpsters, Best Buy's dumpsters, mainly GameStop's dumpsters, just a bunch of various stores that sold electronics and video games. They were diving in the dumpsters, pulling out things, man. And, and mind you, they were getting some nice things, you know, games and things of that nature. And then occasionally, more so than never, you know, they pull something down and got a cheeseburger stuck to it. Oh, uh, or coke spilled all over it. Man, look. I was thinking like, why don't I go dumpster diving? And I said, but when I was looking, I was like, that ain't for me. I ain't gonna dumpster dive. I mean, I, I go to various different, you know, electronic stores, game stores, or different, even different GameStop stores between Michigan and Chicago. You know, be, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just going, you know, and, or, or I'm ordering. You know, I'm looking up some things. So basically, I was like, why do I got a dumpster dive when I can just walk into the store and be like, yo, what do you got? Do you got anything for free today? Do you got anything that you think you're going to be throwing in the dumpster? And before you do that, let me look at it. So I did that. Anyway, I went in and they were going to be throwing some stuff away. So they happened to get me together a goodie bag. <laughs> So, hey, I got I got a lot of things in here, if you can't tell, you know. And, I, and I'm going to be doing some new videos, man, basically. Some some different ones just talking about goodie bags. So, and I know you can tell, this is what's in goodie bag number one. So, here we go. What's in goodie bag number one? Let's get into the video and let's take a look at what's in this bag. All right, here we go. We're getting ready to open the bag or, you know, get our hands into the bag and see what we got going on. All right. So first off, right out the bag, we got Lofi. Luffy, Lofi. You know, Nino Cooney, too. So we got a keychain, baby, from Nino Cooney. I mean, I can't, I can't believe he was about to throw this away. And mind you, again, didn't have to pay nothing for anything in the bag, you know. This stuff was getting ready to go to the dumpster. I got two of these boys. It's a dumpster. Yeah. yeah. So come on. Here we go. Crash Bandicoot collectible micro block figure. So here that is. I think I already have one of these here. You know, and this is like this. You put this thing together like Legos, man. It's 275 pieces. I still haven't opened mine because I ain't got time for that. But hey, I mean, I might can get this to some little kid or get this to somebody, you know. But there that is. Crash. All right. And here goes some socks. <laughs> Ew, something smells rotten around here. It like it's a decent package. <laughs> but they're brand new. Okay, they're, they're brand new socks. All right, and you can tell the sticker, it's all old. And they don't even got the price on here no more. It's so old. It rubbed off. And these are some Robin knee-high socks. You know, they, I'm not going to open them or nothing, but they got a cape on them and things like that. So if you can see those, there they are. And, yeah, man, put these bad boys on and take off like Robin. You, well, Robin can't fly, though. But, um, you, you, you get it, you know. But, all right. Some Robin knee high socks. What else we got here? What, what? Oh, some games, some games, some games. 
Games, okay, okay, and I'm going to open it up. The game is in there. You can see this is Michael Jackson, The Experience. I think my kids actually have this on the Wii. So, but yeah, The Experience, they were getting rid of this, uh, kind of, you know, it's all right. You know, the game looks good to me. You know, why get rid of it? Why throw it in the, I don't, I don't know why they throw their stuff away. Or any any place that got some, I mean, besides the fact they're not selling it, but they can just give it away. But anyway, there we go, Michael Jackson, the experience. Oh, I love language, man. I love these. But anyway, the Nintendo Switch Online, and this is this has to be fairly new because Nintendo just launched their online, you know, uh, service and things of that nature. So there's a. Nintendo Switch lanyard. Man, this goodie bag is feeling pretty good and looking pretty good. So, a Nintendo Switch lanyard right there. Another PS3 game. Warhawk. I don't know much about Warhawk. I've never, never played Warhawk. But there it is. Uh, and it is in there. The uh, booklet looks... Booklet looks pretty good. The disc. Let's see couple smudges nothing too bad we can handle some smudges and clean them off but warhawk warhawk there there we go all right a nintendo switch pin i might wear that on my shirt jacket hat or maybe i'll hook it to this lanyard or something like that but there that is there that is there this is there it is all right so we got that Nintendo Switch pin, and lastly, la yep, that's last, ain't nothing left in the goodie bag, baby, ain't nothing, all right, so, Lynx Crossbow Training, I personally have never heard of this, never seen this until now, uh, and if I had to take a guess of what it is, besides it being Link and you getting some crossbow training, I would think this was like an entry type game for the Wii that maybe you had to play to get used to the controls or something like that. Let's let's just say that. So there's the booklet. There's the extra papers in it. The booklet looks pretty good. Let's take a look at the disc. And then we got some ding, little scratches and smudges, but I, I'm sure it plays, hopefully. Uh, but, but what can you say when it was all for free? So let's move that over here and I don't know, put that on top of Crash. But anyway, there we go. There's all the stuff that was uh, given in the goodie bag, number one. You know, so again, like, comment, subscribe. Tell me you guys' thoughts on what you think of the things that I, I got for free, basically, or got given in that goodie bag without having to get myself all smelly and nasty like garbage and diving in a dumpster. I just went in and asked. And that's what I got. And and yeah, you know, do you do you guys prefer to go knock on the door and say, what up, I'm here, what you got? Or do you prefer to jump in a dumpster? You know, to each his own. Anyway, thank you guys for tuning in to Game Head. Like, comment, subscribe. You already know I said that, didn't I? Yeah. Okay, well, hit the bell button so you'll be notified when I'm doing new videos. Peace.